Simon, what a way to finish the season in front of the fans. Three points uh, against the champions, uh, all in all. A, a good afternoon's work. Yeah, you know, um, difficult game. You know, I thought Sutton um, came and we knew exactly what they'd be. Made a few changes to their team, which was uh, a little bit surprising. But a you know, real end of season game, all of a sudden the sun's come out. It's boiling hot, pitch is a little bit long, a little bit dry. Um, but we ultimately we had to find a way to win, and you know I, I challenged the boys at half time to to dig deep. You know one last game, uh, one last half. You know we've had a difficult schedule certainly since I've been in a lot of games. Uh, we're not a lot of bodies, so to get them to regroup and show the energy levels they produced second half at times was uh, really pleasing. Yeah, clean sheet as well, back to back. Home clean sheets, you know that pleased you Tuesday, that must really please you again. Yeah, absolutely. You know, as I said, if you're going to be successful in this league, certainly clean sheets are something you have to you have to work on and, and, and achieve. And uh, to get two to send the fans off into the summer is, is a great building block for us moving forward. That first goal, what's your take on it? Because from upstairs in the gantry, it just seemed a bit utterly bizarre. Are we giving it to Harry or are we going to take it off him? Yeah, listen, Harry's on a hot streak, isn't he? You know, <laughs> two, two in two, there's no stopping him. Um, yeah, I didn't quite see um, uh, what happened with it in the end, really. It looked like a mistake maybe from the goalkeeper, but um, it was kind of uh, just watching the cross, really. Um, but yeah, listen, that was the thing. Josh Walker's got a lovely finish, the second one. Mason really deserved his goal, was fantastic skill and to, to hit the bar. Um, so yeah, listen, we, we, we scored two good goals. We could have had maybe more. You know, I think Sutton were unlucky with their shot that hit the bar, but overall really pleased. The first half, as you said, was, was a bit of a, a, a scrappy affair, but didn't concede too many chances. What was the message to the boys at half time? Well, I just felt we were a little bit end of season y. Um, you know, it's hot, pitch was long, as I said. You know, I've challenged them to go hard again. Have you got 45 minutes of really hard work in? Because I think if we'd have done that, you know, we'd have gone on to win the game, and ultimately they did, and we, and we did uh, manage to win the game, which was uh, really pleasing. Let's talk about the fans. A few more in the ground today. Thought their support again was excellent. You could tell it had that end of season feel because it was a little bit flat in the first half, but they got right behind you second half. Yeah, listen, and ultimately a lot of fans, uh, most fans, go off the team. You know, if the team work hard and give them stuff to shout about, they'll shout. You know, it's uh, it's when you're not playing well that you need your fans behind you. Um, but today I thought, you know, again, end of season feel, but you know, I think we sent them home happy. And as I said to you uh, the other week, at the end of games, most fans only remember the end of games. Uh, so to send them home with, with a 2 0 victory was excellent. We spoke about it quite a few times about sending everyone off, some, off for the summer with a brighter future ahead. I know there's conversations to be had with, with yourself, the chairman and all the players, but we can be optimistic going forward with the way we've ended the season. Yeah, that's the aim, you know. As I say, we're, we're, the optimism is to go up, as I said to you before. Um, you know, this club shouldn't be where it is for whatever reason it's ended up there. Now, you know, hopefully that's my job to move it forward um, and approach next season and, and see where we can get to. But you know, I think you look and Sutton are a prime example, you know, don't spend a lot of money, um, but they've got a team that work together on and off the pitch, you know, and, and you can be successful and they've been everything this league, league needs. I took their players in some beers to congratulate them. I told them they're the humblest team, they're the hardest working team, they do all this league, everything you need to do in this league, they do it really well. And it's a credit to them that they've achieved what they have. Good lesson for, for our boys, you know, you've seen the, the level, now we've, you know, we, we need to hit that level more consistently, certainly. Just lastly, how important, looking forward, how important is this summer for this football club? I know we've won today, it's been a, ultimately a disappointing campaign for the club. It's a, a big summer ahead now. Yeah, huge and not a long one. So, you know, things need to get moving. But yeah, this is a big summer. Um, and hopefully we can do some good business, um, you know, and, and we can come back pre-season and really look to be pushing this club. You know, everyone, I think, thinks it should be.